Oh yeah. Hi. What is it that yeah. kind of motivates you to keep pushing yourself within that, even when it kind of maybe doesn't go to plan? I think you have to you have to dig deep for motivation sometimes in a sport. It can it's very up and down. But I think when you even when you get them wins, it's such a great feeling. But when you're knocking jumps down, you, you kind of it's difficult to say when you knock, when you're knocking jumps down. It gives you motivation, but it kind of does because you get angry for it, you get hungry for it again. You know you want to get that feeling of winning again. And every time you go in the ring and you're not winning, it drives you harder just to keep keep going for that win. And then when you win, you're so happy. But you've been working for that moment for so long, and everything you've been putting into it just for that just for that one win. That's what gives you the drive. It was nice to talk to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Fernanda? Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, my question was how we can choose like the perfect horse? Uh, the perfect horse for me, obviously, it's very, very difficult to find the perfect horse. But if I had the choice, if I had to choose the things to make the perfect horse, it'd probably have to be ones that don't knock jumps down. That's always a good start. So like they have to be very careful. I think very scopy. They have to be very intelligent. Normally, I think when you're riding a horse, they want to do the job. They want to love the job. You know. So when you go in the ring, they're working for you and not against you. I think they have to. You have to feel like they're. Uh, they want to get in the ring as much as you do. You know. They want to win as much as you do. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks. No problem. Thanks a lot. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi Isabel, I'm Jack. Hi. My question is, if you couldn't be a horse rider, what would you be? If I couldn't be a horse rider, I don't really know twice. I'd like to think it'd be something in sport. I've always been very sporty, like when I was in school, I always did a lot of sport. Football was probably the main one, so I'd like to say I'd like to be a footballer, but I was also very interested in like sports psychology when I was in school as well, so I think it'd be always something sports related if it wasn't always playing sport. But I think it'd always have to be something within sport, definitely. Thank you. Hello. Hello. It's so nice like me meeting you. Yeah, nice nice to meet you too. Whereabouts in the world are you from? Uh, I'm from Montreal, Mexico. Uh, so my question for you is like, how do you overcome a, a scary fall? Because I recently had one and it's like a little bit scary, you know? It's difficult when you get your confidence knocked. It's uh, it's, it's 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 like the same with anything. I think uh, you when you have like a, when you have like a scary car crash or a scary anything. When you, whenever you get your confidence knocked, it's difficult to uh, it's difficult to regain it. But I think it's just taking small steps and making sure you're com comfortable with what you're doing. I think and you're just just taking it slowly and you don't want to rush back into it all because then you'll just not you you you'll not you'll be going one step forward but two steps back again. You know, you have to make, I think you want to just make sure that you're really comfortable with everything that you're doing and obviously pushing to keep getting better and keep doing more but just make, making sure that you're happy with uh, what's going on I think as long as as long as you're happy and the horse is happy I wouldn't suggest getting on a horse that you're not so comfortable with but as long as I think as long as you're taking it slow and, and making sure that you're not rushing yourself too much your confidence will come back in time it just it just takes time you know thank you hello hello what is the best memory you had obviously obviously the wins are always good memories but I think like uh, it's difficult to pick one to be honest. There's a, there's a few that there's a few that really stand out, like Europeans and like other nations cups and stuff like that. But it's uh, I think every time you win a class, one of the uh, especially at a big show, it's it's like when I won the one in Valkensbad and Den Bosch. And the one in London actually was a good one because obviously the, the five star there is and that's a big one for any British rider. So I was really really happy with that one. Thank you for the question. If you could only pick one horse to ride forevermore, past or present, belonging to any rider, which horse would it be? Uh, King Ed would be hard, hard, hard push to miss. He's such a such a versatile horse, and like he does, he jumps so many rounds and just keeps jumping. It's, it's so consistent and that can win and can jump clears. And for a small horse, he just looks so like he just looks amazing to ride. So I think I think it'd have to be King Edward. Yeah, that's a good choice. I've got one of my friends. Can she ask a question too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Jack. Hi. Um, how you doing? All right. I've got a friend who's like obsessed with you. She's already um, she been on this chat. Yeah. If you had a girlfriend. Uh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. So I think she'll be very happy about that. <laughs> Good. As long as, as long as, as long as somebody's happy about that. Well, it was lovely to talk to you. No problem. Thank you guys for the questions. See you next time.